Hello everybody, welcome to the live cast of this quarter-final, the uh, Season 3 of the Chalice. We've got Zelenthia with about 1200 Underworld. He's got a Wizard, Biased Ref, two kegs. And it looks like he's still got... Oh, no, I thought, no bribes. Mm, interesting. Um, so yeah, he's got Underworld up against Andri with Nurgle. Surprised he didn't get any bribes. Well, I mean, 50k bribes. I might have expected him to get some, but I guess he's just going to... You know, foul anyway. I mean, it's funny. It's funny because like fifty k bribes, I would expect them to take bribes, even though I generally not a big fan of the underdog taking bribes because you know bribes are something you kind of want when you're ahead at least a little bit, right? Because you're knocking players over and getting fouls on them, so like you need something to be going right to get that. But um, super interesting. And it's going to be hard for him to get ahead, seeing as this Nurgle team is, you know, 400 TV above him, pretty strong. He's got lots of uh, lots of mutations here, hasn't he? Horns, two heads, two heads block. Cool. We saw, we saw this game, we saw a replay of his game, I think, in the uh, round of 16, maybe. Yeah. He had an exceptional underworld record, I believe, and now he's but he's just putting a snotling on the LOS there and uh, capping himself at 12 players by only fielding one snotling. Interesting. The best thing since wrestling. glory so yeah offset rule of five it's okay isn't it it's an okay set up we just try to beat him up he does have to try and uh, stop his players getting picked off as much as possible which isn't easy is it versus a uh, strength four Mighty Bow, Claw Blitz. Like that's you only like defense, right? I guess he's got the wizard, right? But it it seems weird for me to not have a prime because your only thing you're doing on defense is blitzing somebody and fouling them <laughs> every turn. Like you can't realistically expect to disrupt this Nurgle offense. Like, maybe, maybe you get, like, a blitz. <laughs> maybe you get a blitz. And maybe you get, like, a good wizard and stuff. But uh, even this blitz isn't very good, is it? It was defended properly by Andre. So, he gets to hit a rotter and stay where he is. Which isn't very exciting. Definitely doesn't want to make any dodges or anything. No dodge and play. Literally, it's just blitzer. Blitzer rotter. Go back to where you were. Might creep forward like a, a square or something. I guess he could try and base up here to, to try and stop the dirty player foul. That was an option, wasn't it? He could have he could have engaged to try and stop the sneaky get dirty player getting a foul in, but realistically, hit and run. Oh okay, now he's randomly basing. 
not what I would have done, who could say? It's going to be not particularly bad in that if he puts in a guard to get the hit, he just gets to, he gets a follow up hit as well. And push him into this uh, bloater. Don't understand that hit. Maybe it's a bit tactic because he's a level four coach. <laughs> Oh wow, he does do the dodges. Oh look, he fails because he hasn't got a dodge. If only Jim could have predicted this. Oh wait. Oh wait, that's exactly what Jim did. <laughs> it's hard being this brilliant blood ball, honestly. So he's just given this random block up. For absolutely no benefit. Shocking. Oh, yeah, there might be some yawn menting. I might, I might have just woken up uh, half an hour ago <laughs> and didn't want to do the match, and then I thought, oh, screw it, I'll do it. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Tell you what's interesting with the level 4 coach thing. Oh dear. I did watch a thing today that was very funny. Um, it was somebody saying about the different levels of Blood Bowl coaching and stuff. And uh, it was just very amusing. That's all I got to say about that. Hit him with a claw. I don't really like this too much, right? Because okay, he gets the claw hit, but you know already he's not giving himself the follow up hit, right? And now I get that this is, uh, I get that this is blockless, but I like that it gives you follow up hits. I guess he's going to move the yeah him into his assist. Well, look how fast he goes. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so that's, that's all right then, I guess. Do you go for the pickup first? Yeah. Okay, this is fair enough. Is it? He is going to go back. Yeah, he's moving that hand. I really like the 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 chance of a follow up. Tbh, but this was safer, wasn't it? So fair enough. Gets to blitz an irrelevant rotter again. <laughs> Would he kind of survive the RS there? Just a single KO. You can be my wingman the champ! Bullshit. You can be mine. Chomp, 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 chomp. Mega raid. What an absolute legend. Uh, I'd like to say, you know... <laughs> You think you know me, but uh, you just don't know wrestling. Do you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said that, Dimmy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dimmy. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I thought you were too cool for wrestling, but clearly, clearly I was wrong. <laughs> I can only apologize. <laughs> thinking you were too cool for wrestling. I don't even know why. I mean, I knew you were. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, maybe I'm losing my mind, you know? Maybe, like, I'm getting, you know, dementia already at the age of 43. That's so weird. It's, there's no reason for me to, to think you wouldn't when I knew you did. But there you go. Losing. Yeah, I've lost my mind, yeah. Were you playing Blood Bowl? Probably. And now who's lost whose mind here, Jimmy? At least I'm only watching it. <laughs> you lunatic. Uh -huh. Did you kick his ass? Oh, leader's exposed. Guys <laughs> don't do a draw. Should put it on YouTube, Jimmy.
This is really relying on something here, isn't it? I don't know what. I mean, you've got to blast the claw guy, right? As much as the as much as this guy's exposed, you can just you can just put the guards in to hit the troll, and then you've already tied him up on two guards. But you've got to you've got to blast. No, I hate this. Oh, I, I hate that. I fucking hate this from Andrew. Hate this from Andrew. That could, you could have nailed the the mighty blow guy. I'd have definitely nailed the mighty blow guy. Oh God, Mo! Oh, okay, so he's putting the he's putting the beast onto in there, but I don't know he could have still done that and having already knocked down, <laughs> having already knocked down the the mighty blow guy. Like, it's nice having tentacles on the ground. And tentacles on the, uh, gobble. <laughs> Blizzard. More hills. And he was dwarfs. Oh, God. I fucking hate mole hills, honestly. I absolutely hate mole hills. The absolute worst. Yes, yeah, so he's just not hitting the troll. Like up the troll, even. Beats him off. Four plus and a three plus for two dice on the ball. I don't know fucking where. Duh. Duh. All he has to do is try and save his gutter, right? Which isn't easy, to be fair. This is pretty decent. This is pretty decent from Andre. As much as I didn't like not blitzing the Mighty Blow guy, by putting this all three guards in contact with the Mighty Blow really stops him doing anything. What he might have to do is, you know, go for the dodge. Uh, dodge 1D, like put in a player and then... Dodge away from the tentacles in one day, but he stand firm as well. So pretty difficult. I guess you could run all the way around one, two, three, four, five, six, and hit him that way. And have two assists there and there. So you could two D the beast just to save the gutter. <laughs> so yeah, pr pretty good actually, Andre. As much as I didn't like not not hitting the mighty blow guy. Um, looks like what he's done is better. He's trying to make it about the ball. Which, you know, it can be good. But the problem is, to make him, like, concerned about the ball, you have to initiate contact. Which can be bad for you. Yep, yeah, here it is. There is a ball. I mean, he can, and he can just turn this fucking guy into a frog, right, any time. So this this gutter should be here, here, right? So that it can react or here or something, something where it can react. Because at the moment he could just he could just uh, he could just frog this this turn and then gone like he could just gone one two three four five six seven eight nine GFI GFI lob it score right. So it's pretty good having this guy 
like ignored in the backfield. The gutter, the gutter plus that goblin makes the uh, frog potentially devastating. Or a fireball, you know. You get lucky with a fireball. I mean, you've got to get a bit lucky with a frog, haven't you? But you could get luckier with a fireball. Oh, look! There you go. He didn't even try and dodge him away, did he? Which, you know, maybe he should have. <laughs> maybe he should have, because... Or maybe he didn't. It just didn't show you the animation and stuff. Maybe he got held by tentacles. I just didn't think he did. Oh, yeah, it was. It was a one. Failure. Wait. No, that was the gutter runner, right? He didn't, didn't dodge that guy. He didn't try to get that guy away from the tentacles. I think you had to try and get that guy away from the tentacles. I don't think getting smashed by Claw Mighty for no reason is a good strat. Now is his killer gone? Yep, yeah, Apple failed. One of his two Apples. Beast on the gutter again. Somehow, Andre keeps getting his movement 4 beast on a movement 9 gutter. <laughs> Don't ask me how. Mm. So I guess it's a fireball or a... Or a um, a fireball or a what's the other one called? Zap. Next turn. Like if he, if he, let's say he zaps him, right, and the ball goes to here, or, or, or fireballs these four, and knocks over two. If he knocks over these two on a fireball, then he's just like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI, lob it, score. Or fireball these, these three, and then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI handoff. So, yeah, fireball, try and get two down. Or a zap, or just lose. It's the other option. So we're going for option B. Or option C, I guess. Option A is fireball, option B is zap, and option C is just lose. Who can say if it's good or bad? Steve, thanks. Powers the uh, beast. Can foul the beast as well. Probably should have supported the beast a bit there, old Andrew. If you wanted to layer against the. Uh, Layer against the wizard. One turn won't be easy, will it? There's a uh, stand firm beast there, stand firm bloater. So one player without stand firm, his horns is gone. He's got no guard. So it's not going to be a very easy one turn for uh, Zelenthia here. I imagine he's not as good at one turning as Elliot and doesn't have sidestep on the cover. And uh, Kaz did, but he did Apple. And gets sent off. 
of course did not take a bribe and therefore gets sent off in his first trial I mean you know honestly other people you know who who aren't this right about everything must feel jealous when they see me who is right about everything must not they Winner here does get a ticket, yes. the uh, All four semi-finalists will get a ticket to the World Championships. Not the World Cup, it's called the World Championships. Which, you know, I know it's essentially the same thing, but it is called the World Championships. Yep. And yep, that is exactly right. Hello, Moment Slayer. It is the, the top one from Ladder, which is Andre. So, um... So Andrew's already got his ticket. <laughs> Funnily enough. Um, so Zelenthia, even if he loses, will get a ticket if Andrew wins his next game. So, yeah. It's a bit weird. It's insanely complicated and convoluted who gets the tickets. I need to uh, get the link for the cup here. Playoffs. Playoffs? Ah, oh, so the, the, they play the winner of Strider and the Sea Brawls. So, if... Let's assume Andre wins. <laughs> Let's assume Strider beats Seabrows. <laughs> so then if Strider was to beat Andre, then Seabrows would get a ticket. And if Andre was to beat Strider, then Zolinthia would get a ticket. It was, but I'm trying to avoid spoilers for people who uh who don't know. Punter and Valley. This was my this is my clever thing to avoid spoilers. Cause you know not everyone's what them all have there, especially. You know. Yep, thanks. <laughs> Hello Chigan, play Blood Bowl three. I did play I played a game of Blood Bowl three the other day. Amazing. Amazing. That is a good point, Moon Slayer. That is a good point. But you know, apart from that, apart from that, <laughs> I don't know. It was a dicing to me, but uh, he got the better injury dice, and I got the better critical dice. I'd say is how it went. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the dreaded simul dicing, yeah. <laughs> ah, it wasn't really a dicing in any direction. Like, obviously, it's not cool to lose orcs, but it's not, you know, it's not unlikely, is it? Black Orcs get a lot of blocks at you. They get slightly more knockdowns than normal with having Brawler. They've got Mighty Blow Troll. They've got a dirty player, Sneaky Git. So them removing players isn't ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. But it never, never feels good, obviously, to get loads of removals. Or loads of removed. Indeed, Tom. It's amazing how often it happens. How how often it happens. <laughs> you know, I guess that's with the with. I mean, more so with. Uh, more so with. Progression, right? Because if Andre wins this game, but his ball carrier dies, he's suddenly not very happy about winning. Or if his killer dies, you know, like six skills. If his killer dies this game, he's not going to be very happy, even though he's won. Obviously, whoever loses isn't going to be very happy. 
either. It's gripping, isn't it? Yeah. Very gripping. I might not do any more live games. <laughs> <laughs> because even though the clock goes during the um, you know during animations the 7 time 7 minutes time banks quite a lot and the games just seem to like it's still got the same problems as Blood Bowl 2 isn't it you're just watching somebody think for the most part which is it's a lot of dead air to fill and if you're on your own with the personality of a dead fish, then it's not easy, is it? Exactly, Kale on with a Storm Lord story. Dimmy with a story about him being cool and having sex. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> oh, Dimmy! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he is doing it to give us a story about how he's cool and has lots of sex. <laughs> Dead fish. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah, Super League is gripping, honestly. It is, yeah, yeah, it's really good, isn't it? It's a shame that, like, you know, we don't have the frequency of games, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's good that we've got, like, a game every day, pretty much. It's, it's, like, it's worked yeah. out that it's pretty nice. But it'd be good if you had, like, you know, three top quality games every night, wouldn't it? It would be awesome. It would be good. Mm. But I just... wonder what uh, Zalimphy's plan is, is. I guess he's just going to wait for the one turn, is he? Dakar? Wait for the one turn that won't work, and then uh, on his I mean, drive, the, Dakar. The pro teammate is an option. I mean, what, how many rerolls is it? has got three rerolls, so it's like two plus for the boneheads. Two plus for the pickup, two plus for the hand, uh, three plus for the handle. Is it three plus for the handoff, Dimmy? Uh, oh, what foul appearance? Mm. Uh, mm. I think See, I should know that being a Nurgle main. <laughs> are you a Nurgle main, are you? I am. I am today. I played <laughs> three games of Nurgle, four games wow. of Nurgle. Wow! Undefeated. Yeah. Undefeated. Nice. Um. Yeah, it's it's worth it's worth it's probably worth putting the bloaters on the on the line to 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 stop the handoff for the throw teammate because I think the you know the getting the cutter forward is difficult. Here we go, though. Look, he's made a blitz. Looks like the Rock ball might be right based. Now. That ball carrier is quite special. It's quite. It's still quite early in the drive, to be fair. It is, yeah. It's like, it just feels like it's been going on forever, but it's not actually. Yeah, so it's not actually been going on forever. <clears throat> yeah. Is that an AV bus sneaky get dirty player? Ooh, ooh, it is. Punch him. Ball based. GG. GG, and like you know, the the it's four versus three here, so he's got a bit of an advantage, hasn't he? Five, six, has he still got, seven versus five. Oh no, six. Oh. But he's got a one man advantage in this. I don't actually like dodging away, really. Here we go. Spicy, spicy. Now the that you've dodged him, you dodge the other, Yeah, it, it actually is. Yeah, I guess the thing is by dodging him first, then you get to dodge him as well. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, I hate what this. That? What is that GF54 to get there? To base the ball. Oh, to double tag it so he has to dodge. Yeah. I mean, he's had G4. With <laughs> yeah. <dodge. laughs> he's had four uh, he's with like, dodge. I've, I've got a tackle on the ball. <laughs> I mean, that tackle was just about to get minced by this legend. Yeah. That was not worth a reroll. Keep keep your rerolls for the one turn at that point. Oh, he's used two rerolls on that. I'll use one for the dodge and one for the rush. Maybe, maybe he stacked it. Like, maybe, like, he stacked the dodge and the ru rushes. So once he rerolled the. The dodge. I think he just used one reroll, didn't he? And he only used the one? I thought he failed the dodge. No. Oh, mm. rush failure, reroll. And then he failed the second rush. Yeah. Uh. But I still think just using a reroll wasn't worth it. I just think he should have. Oh, it's just a push. He's going to get pretty crammed in in this corner here as well. Yeah. He's got to try and space out a bit. 
to make the uh man do you know what i think i zap him this turn it's not a terrible idea i think i zap him this turn or fireball Ooh, i prefer a zap but only if, only if i can blitz him afterwards really yeah but like the fireball could hit these three right Ooh. yeah maybe Maybe, yeah, because, I mean, if, oh, mate, if you got a three out of three fireball. Yeah, okay, just put that. Still, you can still, you can still yeah, do yeah, three still out do of three. Yeah, still do it, still do it. And then you blitz the, uh, the rotter up the top, get your thrower, pick it up with the thrower, and then lob it to the gutter runner, and then run mm. down the other side of the pitch. Like a madman laughing. <laughs> yep, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> 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 Bit of Mario for you there. Uh, we got so what we got? We got. I mean, it would have to be out of three out of three fireball. To <laughs> it really would, yeah. And then even then, he's got a dodge. Ooh. Of these three, you could fireball. Yeah, these no, yeah, three, yeah. You fireball the, the sneaky get and the DP. Yeah, yeah. Of these and three. And then if you get two of them, as long as the ball scatters left, it's not so bad. Well, you have to get the ball carrier. <laughs> yeah. He goes for the forward one. They all fail. <laughs> oh, man. That feels so bad. Uh, I think Andre, Andre's just got a wide on. <laughs> oh, God. GG. It's not GG yet. Uh, like, if he makes the throw team... Well, I don't know if he's going to make the throw team against Nurgle. It'd be demoralised, warning. That's the problem. You say you should have zapped. You would have failed the zap as well with a two. Yeah, that's the thing. Like this is this was a, like a one in a one in eight failure, <laughs> right? So if he's got a one in eight failure, then you can assume that the one in three would have failed as well. Oh well, yeah, it was two two three. So like no, no, it's it's like a three plus, isn't it? For a yeah, but I mean you can't look at what the dice were. You know, like it's just. I just did, Jim. I can see him on the on the screen. <laughs> In front of me, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> you can, yeah, but it's about odds, isn't it? It's about odds. It's about odds, and uh... Look, that's a two, Jim. That's a two. I, just, <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I don't hate the fireball because I feel like you've got to get pretty lucky to, you know, for it to work. So you can't rule Underworld out of a gutter. Yeah, I mean, it's the problem is is overtime looks really bad for Underworld. Yes. Um. So he really needs to one turn and then score in eight. And I'd say he needs to score in eight because Andre's got like a movement eight guy so he can probably one turn as well. Mm. Although the problem is with that is he's got to get someone to give him the ball. Yeah. Oh, and I guess Snotlings as well. So yeah, maybe, maybe... <laughs> Maybe Underworld a favourite, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he foul appearance as Blitz and just didn't get the Blitz at all. <laughs> yeah, I love foul appearance. Honestly, mate, I'm having so much fun with it. Like, it's literally won me a couple of games, man. Like, I, I, this guy, like, he literally was... He, like, he, he set up a Blitz to Blitz my beast and then the half just ended and I was like, what happened? Like, did the game just crash? Like, did it bug out? And he was like, no, he just, he just failed foul appearance for his Blitz so he couldn't score. So that was it. it was just, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, it got buffed uh, Buster Gendo. Yeah, it's, it's been yeah, buffed. Yeah, it's, been buffed. it's definitely got to be wrong, isn't it? Did they deliberately do that? Like, yeah, I can't yeah, they, they deliberately They deliberately... Did it. Yeah. So why why have they nerfed Tents and Shadowing so much and then buffed the nuts out of Foul Appearance? Like it's, tents like, isn't exactly nerfed. It's it a, kind of is. Yeah, like it, a, feel, it feels way worse than it used to be. It's it's mostly nerfed, but on critical ones, on critical rolls, the fact that you can't I've use a team reroll means that it's buffed. Oh, you can't use a team reroll, right? Mm. I mean, it's it's been working... It's been working today. Oh my god, it's been working today. It's been so much fun. Yeah. So like in the absolute most critical game winning situations, it's better. Like you know the times that people yeah, would invest yeah, a reroll, yeah, yeah. it's got better. But oh my god, but through the majority of play it's got a bit worse, yeah. Oh, is he regen? Where's the regen? Is he regen? Where's the regen? Yep. He's back. Oh that's alright, yeah. Safe. That's a guaranteed one turn now. So it's one one at half time, Jim. Yeah. 
I've seen a pro teammate before and they work six out of seven times, so <laughs> we're going in at 1-1, one, one. no need to watch the rest of this half. But he's only got one re-roll, Dimmy, maybe he should have kept. It doesn't matter, Jim, he'll get one on the kickoff, like, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, like, the ball will be kicked perfectly into the corner, <laughs> like, not quite the corner, there'll be one square, and then it'll be, like, changing weather, so it'll scatter three times out and be a touchback. <laughs> Right. Honestly, Jim, you'll, you'll be you'll be amazed at what what happens with these pro teammates. They're like unbelievable. <laughs> I feel like you might be a little bit biased to me. Literally unbelievable. I think a third of my touchdowns that I've conceded in NAF are pro teammate <laughs> touchdowns. It's, it's quite incredible, honestly. Now he can just cage as well and foul. Yeah. Cage, foul. Oh, he's going to foul the thrower. He's got to yeah. foul the thrower, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. got to. I just got to foul the thrower. <clears throat> Here we go. Here comes the snake into removal. <laughs> There's so many snakes in this game. Honestly. Injured! Oh, he's seriously injured. Does he regen, Jim? Does he regen? No, no, no regen. Regen oh, fails. Failed the region. He did use his second apple and it failed. So he's, 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 apple, he's used both apples in the first half and they've both failed. Oh, God. oh my God. He's, he's used his wizard and it's fail, all three have failed. Oh, man. That feels so bad. That feels so bad. Oh, my God. And also, the biased referee didn't send him off. So the the, the biased referee is and it, is this guy's been sent off. So the biased referee has failed twice. Both apples have failed, and all three fireball attempts have failed. Yep, nice dice, mate. <laughs> Where'd you get him? He's he's obviously borrowed mine. He's obviously borrowed mine. I uh I triple both downs two turns in a row with my um. <laughs> Oh my god. This is horrendous, isn't it? It's hilarious. He should have dodged the uh, snotling first because then that would have burnt the one and then he would have been able to blitz him. Oh yeah, clever. It's only like a 1D blitz as well, though. Like, it's... It, I guess... it was going to be a 2. Oh, what? Uh, oh, uh. Was it? Yeah, he's got two assists. Oh, shown four. Oh my god, uh, oh my god, he's injured. <laughs> he gets injured with it assisting me. Uh, <laughs> god, this is horrific. This is absolutely horrific. Honestly, like when I feel like it's horrific, I just remind myself it's underworld, and then I just I, I get this radiant glow of glee. <laughs> Like, honestly, there's nothing better than Underworld just getting absolutely smashed. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, nothing think, against. Think about how many people he made misery, miserable on the way to get here. Like, it's, Yeah, that's a good point, good point. Like, Mind, Andrew's playing good. Nurgle, which is the whole I'm always making people miserable. Yeah, but it's not, It's not like, Nurgle, Nurgle will call again, Jim, because of the 1600 cap. So, like, now if you play Nurgle, you're, like, edgy and cool and, like, you're not just like a mindless banger, horrible person. Like now this was a... this was 1800 though. This is last season, so this. Well, 1800 was... still not like the old school days of no. 500 games of Nurgle, no. like whatever 2,300 or whatever they were. And they're not as good as Orcs, are they? I mean, if this was an Orc team, it's got so much more guard and a couple of defensive and mm. a troll. Yeah, you're not as cool as someone who plays an ability. That's a very good point. Yeah, they're the coolest, aren't they? At the end of the day, yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to get a girlfriend, you need to play knobs. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. Oh dear. Here we go. So, what are we doing? Are we throwing from the sideline? Oh. <laughs> Is that your Bretonian? <laughs> your Bretonian sound effect? There? Oh. <laughs> Throw, throw from the sideline. <laughs> oh, <God>. What about <laughs> Bretonians, though, Dimmy? What about what about the guy with the best Bretonian uh, win rate for and against in Blood Bowl Two? I heard he lost a game. He did lose one game versus Bert, yeah. 
I imagine they, he didn't play that last game. Oh, no. He would have like he would have been famous like honestly, yeah. broken records. Yeah. Like, people would have been calling him up asking if they could be him. <laughs> why is he? Why is he throwing like? Oh, because the goblins movement six, right? Is the gob the goblin is no the goblins are movement five. How no, fast goblins are goblin? movement six. Goblins are six. Oh, so that's why five. he's throwing the goblin. Right? Oh no, yeah. the goblin's got two heads as well. And there you go then. Yeah. I was just thinking because Stunty Dodge is just better, but it's not, is it? Because it's got, it's got two, uh, Titchy. <laughs> it's not good handing it off in three stinks, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Needs to put, you know, a player there. Or maybe here. Like, maybe here. Yeah. So he's just in one. Yeah. Maybe That's put a good shout, one. actually. Yeah, Snotling in the wide left. Get a wide on for the Snotling. Oh my god, it's so it's so miserable when when this is like your best chance in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's probably thinking, "What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I here?" Does he not know that this is going to be a five plus handle? Uh, probably not. You got to put him here. Like you just have to. Mate, just roll the five. Hard roll the five. Like honestly, oh, he's dear. gonna he's. He's gonna score, isn't he? Three. It's a six plus. It's a six plus handoff. Yeah. Happens every time. It's like when you've got the ball on Blodge and you, you've limited him oh. to a one D. Oh, where is Kick, the ball? Oh my. Anyway. Why is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. No, it hasn't fucked him. He's just fucked himself. That's what, terrible, on, isn't it? On the stream. Yeah. He could have put him here, and he would have had a chance to score. Or here, <laughs> and he would. Uh, no, sorry, here, and he would have had a, bet the best chance. Right, he could have gone. Uh, he couldn't have actually reached him if he was here, but he could have had a player there and a player there. He could have had two players there, and then, he, you know, ideally, he would have gotten to the one in front and thrown it from one square further forward. Honestly, you'll be amazed when he makes this, and I won't. I'll be like, I just know it's going to happen. So it's a three-two-two-six, and then two. Four, four, two, two, Got the pickup. No, he failed the pickup. Double one, the pickup. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. That was incredibly unlucky. <laughs> he's rubbish. He's absolutely, it's absolutely rubbish. He's rolled rubbish. I'm not saying he's rubbish. Like this game has been rubbish for him, hasn't it? My God, two oh, apples, mate, both failed. Yeah. Every fireball, every ref roll, just absolutely shit on. Get shit on. Get <laughs> shit on. <laughs> you. <laughs> he's, he's probably in tears. I don't know. I don't really know his Olympia. No, no he's relatively. I, I don't know if he played BB2, unless he's changed his name or something. Mm. Yeah, he's probably That's not in tears, is he, playing a game of plug I don't know, like, I was getting pretty emotional earlier. <laughs> yeah, he's been shit at rolling dice, what a noob. <laughs> he definitely should have chosen to roll better. There's definitely been a few like spicy dicings yeah. recently. Yeah. <clears throat> that, that BBSL game the other night was a complete comedy mega side. Like, <laughs> That's the nature of the game, isn't it? Like uh, these days with the dirty player sneaky get. I know it wasn't in BBSL, but you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The nature of the game now is just sneaky get DP turning dicings into mega dicings. So there you go. It's 2020. <laughs> yeah, four years late for us. <laughs> but for tabletoppers since 2020, yeah. That's kind of crazy, isn't it, that it took, it took three years for Blood Bowl. Three, and then it's taken, a no it's been out for over a year, and it's still, it's getting better, but it's still not there yet, is it? How many teams have they actually released? Underworld and Woodies. Are they the only? Was there another team that they this added after? Is, we're in season four now, so this, this, they've added four. 
And there was about 12 when it came out, and there's 16 teams there are. I can't remember who the other team... Oh, Lizards were added. Undead. Who was the other team that they added? Oh, Undead. Uh, how could I forget Undead? Do you know what, like, Blood Bowl 3's turned me off Undead. I, I used to play Undead when Undead were cool. <laughs> They're not cool anymore. Nurgle. Nurgle are cool, lads. Nurgle is now the new orange. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good point saying about colours. Let's have. Oh my god, the luminous yellow. I don't mind that. That's alright. I don't like it. And he's he's half blue. right. He just needs a darker shade of green on the armour. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of either either team's colours. Let's keep them red and blue. Oh, well, actually, this is okay. You can tell them apart, can't you? Let, 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 let's let Andre have his colours. Yeah. He's going to be mega OP now. Yeah, really feeling the OPness. What is that? Has he got AV? He's got AV up on that Bestigore, hasn't he? It's literally a Bestigore. It's not even a Pestigore anymore. He's, he's exonerated. <laughs> AV up? Which, which one are you looking at? The, 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 the killer. Oh, yeah! The, the legend. Of course, because he's got horns naturally. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's got Iron Man, isn't it? It's Iron Man. Oh, is it Iron Man? It's oh. Iron Man. Yeah, there you go. That's till the end of the match. That's the. Uh... So he's not a legend. Yeah. Or is he still a legend? I don't know. Yeah, he's a legend, but then he's he's super mega super ultra legend because he's got uh, Iron Man. Four. Is he like the God Emperor of Nurgle kind? He is. Yeah. Yeah. He's the Mortarian of uh Mortarian. Good knowledge, Jim. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> I could tell you some interesting stories about it if you want. I was gonna I was gonna say, I bet you got all the girls in the pub with that story. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly called you a scene up then, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> have you uh have you heard about Mortarian? <laughs> <laughs> Bring your drink over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You bastard, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, you've, got, you've got a scoring for it, Jim. Is it? Is it? It is, yeah, yeah. Uh, What's the odds on him being? Oh man, he stunned. He stunned the uh... fast boy. Oh, so close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Has he got any like injuries? Can you see injuries in the game? No. So you don't know who's got injuries? Yeah, of course you can't. I was just being a dick. No, no, no. I mean like. Can you see like if they've got any? Yeah, yeah, you can, but he doesn't. Oh my god! Sent off. Sent off. Oh my god! Biased ref! Yes! I'll give it a go. It's OP, man. It's OP. But it's still a turnover. Yeah, yeah. But he, he doesn't safe. get sent off. Is it? Is he a secondary? He's not a scoring threat, though, is he? No, not unless he gets lobbed. No, or well, he could get blitzed and then sidestep into a scoring threat, no? Yes, he could. Come on, hero snotling. But he can just blitz the the line right instead. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't tell him. He's probably watching. Don't tell him. <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> mate, wait. When I was, I, I've literally had two games where my opponents like left the geezer in the end zone, and I've just like tried to scroll my screen down and not mention it at all because I'm just worried they're in chat. They like go, oh yeah, thanks. I've forgotten my player. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So like the the camera angle literally shows like none of the game. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, in, everyone in chat thinks I've had a stroke or something. Like that. <laughs> What's going on with Dimmy? <laughs> so I'm trying to hide the player that I can't talk about. <laughs> That's amazing, Dimmy. <laughs> Holy shit! It's well, you know me with my poker face at tabletop. You know <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. It's like you got you got. To, Take hold of all those advantages in Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, hello, Christopher V. Thanks for the raid. Hello, Albachon as well. Earlier, I'm sorry, I haven't, 
I've ignored chat a little bit, but uh, you know, it's 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 easy to ignore chat when you're thinking about Mortarian. You know, such amazing tits. Oh man, Mortarian! Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. getting hot in here, Jim. Oh. <laughs> He's not even the hot one, is he? Who's, who, who, what's the, which one's the hot one? Sigvald. No. Sigvald the Magnificent, isn't mm. it? No, that's, no, that's like the, Yeah, the old, I'm, old. I'm still talking 40k. I can't remember the name. I don't, I don't really know 40k, Lord. Oh, Fulgrim. Yeah, Fulgrim, yeah. Look at, look at chat spamming Fulgrim. Oh, yeah. my God. They know they're forty k law. And then they made they made the model and they didn't make him a sexy boy. It was really weird. Oh, he weird. did blitz him. He did blitz yeah, him. Yeah, he did. And he did sidestep closer. No, he hasn't yet. But he's been knocked over anyway. So. Yeah, a tackle. That would have been amazing if he got a second just going for it. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. Can he actually just run? He can like run. Right down the right flank. Oh. Yeah, there's no movement up on that uh, tackle guy. He can just like sideline on the right and then yes. dodge the dodge the snot in through. And, like, the problem is the the beast getting you. But as long as you like your screen against the beast and stuff. Oh, like he's got the snot thing on you. Yeah, yeah. But you can blitz him off, but I guess you can sidestep over there. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the play anyway. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. He hasn't got sidestep, but you know. I mean, he's he's up the creek without a paddle. Yep. This is it. Game on, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah. I got old Emperor's Children Law, yeah. That's... Do you know what? Funnily enough, I do have some Emperor's Children Law. Um, because whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, because uh, I had a oh, blood no, bowl. He's blocked square. He's gonna yeah, run through. I had oh, a blood bowl man. human team, a human blood bowl team, blood bowl team. See, that's why it's relevant. Not just because this is these are the sto stories that get all the girls. I had a human blood bowl team, and I went to a tournament. Uh, the first tournament, actually, in a Games Workshop head office, and uh, I painted my men pink and black. Right, like the Empress children, and call them the Karl Franz kids. So there's a bit more law for you because Karl Franz is the Emperor, and I thought I was really pleased with myself. <laughs> I called my team that. I was... Karl Franz. Well, Karl Franz isn't the Emperor in 40k, though, is no, it? No, but he's the Emperor in Warhammer, you see. So I took the 40k colour scheme and then applied it to Warhammer. Is he the actual Emperor, Brilliant. though? He's the actual Emperor in Warhammer. He's the Emperor Karl Franz. I'm I'm more of a Boris fan. Yeah, you would be. Godbringer. <laughs> yeah. He's oh shit. my god. <laughs> Why do people think this is safe? This is not safe. I mean, he's up shit creek. I mean, as you said, he's up shit creek. So. And he's moved that snotling that was supposed to protect him. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Christopher B. See, look, at least somebody thanks. appreciated it. At least somebody appreciated my genius. I'm glad you said genius. Chris, Christopher B. with a wide on her Not the children. <laughs> Nothing gives ladies a wide on like talking about <laughs> Carl Franz. <laughs> <laughs> He was pretty weak in uh, Warhammer, like Total War. See, so GFI, yes, yeah, so he, he's trying to dodge him. Oh my god, he's trying to dodge him twice. He dodges him twice. And he gets it. Oh, he should have just sidelined. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he gets, he gets tentacled. So now it's up to Hero Goblin. No, no, you go through. You go, you dodge up north, didn't you? So you go sh straight up there, yeah, through there, and then the next one there. Through there. Yeah. He's done all right. He's done all right, Jimbo. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Only, only took him half his time bank. Yeah. But I mean, he's in a horrible spot, and he like he's down 400 TV. None of inducements has worked. <laughs> he's had no good days. <laughs> he's getting absolutely dicked on. So you know. Do you reckon they'll? I don't think they'll ever make a Slanish thing. Well, I say ever. Oh, who fell? Oh, why did he dodge again? I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. 
What are you doing? What are you doing, la? What are you doing? Oh <laughs> my god. Like, Andre's probably just like laughing now. <laughs> yeah, Balthazar Gelt was better in the game, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, Balthazar Gelt was like, with uh, the metallics. What's the, what's the law of metallics? <laughs> the law of metal. That's it, that's it. I can't remember what, what the, uh, what the I think it was the gold the gold college is what it was. Oh, but there's the um the the one that melts their armor, isn't it? Or it like uh Oh yeah, I can't remember any of the names of the spells. It's a long that's too long ago to know. Was it transmutation or something? Transmutation of lead, yeah. They were they were all transmutations yeah. of different things, weren't they? And then you like you just debuffed all their elite units and absolutely melted them. Yeah. And then there's the one that there's the one that there's like a a spell from above that looks like a fireball, but that's pretty good as well. Mm. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah, who's left the tap running? <laughs> <laughs> it's gushing everywhere. <laughs> And can he get the can he oh well that removal he can get the uh he can get the uh thing on in it. The Nurgle. Oh the beast he rolls a one, he rolls a one oh, huge, huge one Huge one Huge one Speaking of huge ones, here's Elliot <laughs> the Biggest gnome on Blood Bowl. Oh. Hello Elliot. Are you still playing noms? I think so. Did he win? Yeah, he sure he won every game, it's Elliot. If Elliot doesn't win every game, then uh Ball of Tentacles used to me, I don't know. That sounds like a Nurgle spell though. Uh I mean I don't, there, there was uh Nurgle one in uh Black Horror. Yeah, on Nizapal's Black Horror, yeah. <laughs> Mate, the uh the best one was uh the fate of Buna. Yeah. And like yeah. and Purple Sun. Purple yeah, Sun. Purple Sun was number one. That was oh historically. Oh God. Yeah, Purple Sun was insane. Purple Sun, what? Yeah, foot of more. I never really played orcs on Total War though. Oh, I, mean, I was talking about actual Warhammer rather than Total War. Well, no, their spells in Total War, like they used the same yeah, spell. Yeah, I know they do. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know they're the same one. But in in Warhammer, uh, Purple Sun was like historically the best. And then Comet was really good for it. There was a Comet time when Cassandora, Comet was the best. Yeah, yeah the Lizardman spell. Yeah. Yeah, that was, and then summoning a uh, Manticore was sick for chaos as well. <laughs> oh, and then what's he called? Thing he's in in Total Warhammer. There, there's uh, Croak's got his own personal spell, hasn't he? Which is insane. Oh, I don't know what. Like that is. Ruination of Cities or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is insane. That is insane. <laughs> In in the the best one in um yeah curse of yours was insane like that's really really old curse of yours was the was the best spell ever when, when that like when that came out in like fucking second ed or whatever um in in what's it called the is it curse of yours it that there's a there's an undead there's an undead spell in oh mate the only undead wind spell of death you, wind of death is it in yeah Total wind War? of death yeah yeah. yeah. But the, you just use um, what is it? Dance macabre or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. And you just regen. You just literally just summon zombies constantly. Just spam mm. regens. Deliverance of it. So yeah, that that sounds like it could be. Uh, yeah. Comet Cassandora looks fantastic in Total War as well. Mm. I was gonna I was gonna name my slant team around that comet with Cassandora. <laughs> Yeah, dance was move, yeah. But Comment Curse of Cassandora. Curse of Years, when it when Curse of Years came out it was insane. It was completely insane. Yeah, they've they've toned down the magic now, haven't they? I think. Yeah, everything's been like toned down yeah. like since since this I mean you know, it was a bit like Blood Bowl, like Warhammer when it came out was like Blood Bowl, you know, like the the rules were insane and totally crazy and then you know, it's just made by people for like, you know, for fun and stuff and then as as it went through the years, they made it. They toned everything so down. <clears throat> the um, the, like the the few old world reports I've watched, like most of the spells are like, 
uh, what they call like AOE wind spells or whatever. So like they they just summon a massive thing that sits in front of your unit that you're going to charge with, and then they have to walk through it, and then <laughs> they take wounds and so it's it just looks so lame. Yeah. So lame. Yeah. Yeah, the battle magic box set. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, flip me. Oh, is he caught the ball? Was it a touchback? Oh my god. Oh, oh it dear. Makes you sick, doesn't it? it? Just makes you sick. <laughs> I mean, I don't care because I'm not invested, but I guess it's making Zelenthia a bit sick. But Zelenthia might still get a ticket to the to the World Championships because Andrew's already got one by finishing top of the ladder. So it's not all lost for Zelenthia yet, even if he's about to lose. <laughs> Is that all it is? It used to be amazing. It used to be amazing, Steve. I don't know if you, anyone played back in the day, but how it worked was you just rolled a dice for everybody in the unit, and on a six they died, and then oh and it God. and it remained in play. And the next turn it was on a five plus they just died, and then the next turn it was a four plus they just died. <laughs> So could you just cast that on like, what, how, what, was it like an AOE or was it on one unit? It was a unit, it was just on a unit. Oh, so you just pick their best unit and cast it on them, right? Yeah, yeah. Like no. they're uh, <coughs> Lord Masters, Sword Masters of Hoeth or whatever. Oh yeah. no, it'd be Phoenix Guard, wouldn't it? It'd be Phoenix Guard. Yeah. Well, Phoenix Guard, I mean, Phoenix Guard probably were rubbish at that time. Dragon but, um, Princes? Yeah, Dragon Princess was pretty good. It, it, it was Curse of Years. It was a long time ago. They it, this is a long time ago. This is like, you know, na the early Nagash model that looked rubbish. That, that was uh, that was before then. <laughs> it was before that model. Like, it's really old when Curse of Years was ridiculous. Oh, no, it might have been that Nagash model, actually. It was really old. Yeah, it was really old. No, it was definitely Curse of Years, 100%. Because that, that, like, that was the spell, right? The, the, the spell made them grow old. So like that was it. They just on a six. You just got old and died, <laughs> and there was no there was no wounds or anything. It was just literally you getting old and dying. <laughs> and it was six five four. I don't know if it went to three and two. I can't remember that far, but I, I knew that it was remaining played and, and added one to it. How many underworld were left? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. Not terrible. That's Eighteen SPP for Andre. Yeah, there's just too too many turns for Andrew, isn't there? And he's got a movement eight player with Blodge and bloody Edge Four, so he's got you, five hundred he dice him? on this two head goblin. Yeah. Peak model design. <laughs> it's actually the worst Games Workshop model ever, probably, isn't it? The Nagash model. Oh, Nagash. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite a good square from the old uh, whatever it's called. It's not. It's not yeah. That's the goblin. Nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, actually, yeah, the female space marines <laughs> are absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Guess the pal. The story goes that that Gary Morley didn't like the you know like the art direction, so he he made the he made the model rubbish on purpose. Uh, it sounds you know, like a biscuit. Yeah, hope <laughs> it does. Yeah, <laughs> hoping that they'd like they'd see it and be like, "Oh, we can't use this. Do it, you know, do it again how you want." But they were just like, "Fuck it, <laughs> we're using it." <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, of course, the words games workshop. They just don't really care about anything, do they? He's gonna foul this uh, snot thing, isn't he? No. Yeah, I'll do it. No. Oh, I didn't put the assist in. I was I would use the ball carrier as the assist as well. I don't think you would, Timmy. I think you're lying. Yeah, I would never have got this far in this competition. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have even qualified. Fuck you know. <laughs> Madness. I wonder how many games is on this Andre's team. About just about forty-five, I think, or something. Like that. Most of them topped out at about forty-five, so I imagine. That's like that's like two days of blood bowl with no sleep or eating or anything. That's madness. Uh, probably near a one, because there's all the concedes, right? I guess yeah, uh, concedes. Well, once you build your team, you're just like, right, give me ten concedes in a row. <laughs> okay, good. Are we? Do we know any data on concedes, like? Have they gone down since the banning thing? I guess they have. They must have done. No idea. No idea. There's a patch tomorrow, apparently, Jimbo. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting patch. Super interesting. 
fixing the running they... man bug. Well, I asked them if they did, didn't they? Oh, did they say that in the Discord, did they? It's in the patch notes. Oh, where's the... have you got them? Can you link me them? I put them in the Discord, Dimrath. Oh, in your Discord? Yeah, my Discord, in the Blood Bowl, in the Blood Bowl channel. Oh, and it's also come up in the general chat because I'm linked to the Blood Bowl 3 news. So an hour ago it was posted there. So there you go. Oh my god, I'm seeing loads of gnomes. Rodney Roachbait. So the biggest thing is the invisible thing being fixed. And the limitation of legendary player customizations is now per team instead of account wide. Which is a very nice change, isn't it? Should have already happened, but hadn't. A little flick through these patch notes. They just said mainly bug fixes, but I only really know one bug. Mm. Highlighted improvements, usage. Legendary. Oh, oh yeah, so. that's really good. Yeah, the loaners, the acquired trait. Yeah, that's a really good improvement. Really good qual, isn't it? Now loaner counts as like a learn trait, so you can see it when you put learn skills only. You'll see who your loaners are. Really nice. Oh, uh, something happened there. <laughs> I'm not watching, mate. <laughs> Two players KO'd, I think, from that throw. But, what, um... two Andres players? I think the no, I think I think a, a snotling or whatever. Oh no, two two of the other ones, two two of the uh, two of the underworld. <laughs> he knocked the beast down and then killed two of his own players. <laughs> what you don't get you don't get SPP if you got badly hurt as a stunny. No, there you go. That's weird. He knocked the beast down first. Knocks the beast down, kills two of his own players. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, triple skull. Oh my god. Mine got. Oh, if that was a hex skull, that would have been hilarious. It wouldn't have mattered at all, but it would have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still got three turns. Another Kaz. Absolute massacre. And he's not even defending, is he? He's got four players over here, so he's Nah, it's so. not, yeah, it's done. Champions Cup. Mm. Let's read these patch notes. So, yeah, this looks almost, almost certainly Andre, who already has a ticket, will be making it to the uh, semi final. Of the chalice. Very exciting. In a thrilling match that had us on the edge of our seats. <laughs> when are they. Oh my god, server's not going to be on. So you will not be able to start new games. Seven... What is CET? Central European Time. So is that our time, or is that like an hour ahead? I think they mean Central European summer time, so an hour ahead of us. Servers will be down at 10 o'clock. Oh my god, I was going to stream tomorrow. And they're not going to be up until 6pm. Uh, ah, there goes my tomorrow stream. Rip. Rip I guess, I guess I can paint my team. Replace mm. some uh, Fallout. Oh, they've got it. So they've got it. They've got it on our time. Yeah, five. Yeah, they've got CET, but it's CEST because they they can never get anything right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Central Eastern Time, which is like American, which is like five hours behind or something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, something like that. But that's that's like EST or something, like Eastern Standard Time or something. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Maybe just yeah, EST. There you go. 
fix an issue regarding on the bill. So yeah, most of these are bugs that I don't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had like Brin. Jim Dim Jim? question. H. Yeah, H you can see here this they've got a few options. You've got the skills, all the skills. Oh wait, skills. this is amazing. It is now possible to stand up a player with jump up skill without using the action wheel. Yeah. Not Still only that, you prepared. literally couldn't stand him up. Never mind with you the even block, with the action. It? Yeah, even with uh, even with the action wheel, you just literally could not just stand him up and end his turn if he was based. <laughs> so that was pretty bad. What fixed an issue that could cause setup phases to be off the pitch in some cases? I don't know. I don't understand that. No, I don't understand that either. But yeah, there's a few. There's a few keys down there, so you can change the colours and stuff to like, if if they if they were both blue or whatever, you could change that to make them red and blue. So there's there's a bunch of good. Uh, there's a good a bunch. There's a bunch of good things that help with visibility. And yeah, get rid of the invisible players. Well, That's the big one. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be back again when they release the next team. Won't <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> oh man, like if Andre doesn't score to take it to overtime on purpose so he can farm SPP. Mm. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true to the fallout. That really sucks, because it's my last real day of playing Blood Bowl, I guess, for a while, because... Mm. Um, what is it? Back to work Wednesday. But yeah, probably pretty well. Probably till Sunday then, I guess. Mm. Poor Dimmy. Poor Dimmy. No Blood Bowl. I'm enjoying it at the moment, Jim. Wow. I'm enjoying it. I've been playing like absolute dog poo though. Oh my <laughs> god. I've played so badly. I'm making so many mistakes. It's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Oh my god. Look how fast he's gone. I haven't oh, added him to the thing, Christopher B. I, I, think, I, I definitely think I play worse on Blood Bowl 3. Then I do on Fumble. I think I play better on Fumble. But I just get worse dice on Fumble. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, got him got him off. Just a KO. Yep. I mean this this must have been a really miserable game for Zalemphia. Yeah, I mean unbelievable. Every, everything that he had failed. <laughs> yeah, it must have been really miserable. <laughs> his his biased ref failed like twice. The fireball failed all three. Both apples failed. It was just an absolute who, disaster. Um, who won last season? Was it Stripe? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> I used to be able to like name everyone who's ever won Blood Bowl 2 Chalice. <laughs> and I, I can't even tell you who's... I think, well, Elliot won the off-season one, didn't he? Like the original mm. Chalice. Well, there no, there wasn't a chalice, right? There wasn't a chalice after season two. It was the it was the season two finals that Strider won, right? There just yeah. wasn't the playoffs after season two. So, this is season four. So, who won season three? This is season three. Oh, right. So it's just Elliot. I thought Elliot won. Elliot won pre-season. Yeah. And uh, Albachon won season one. Did he? No, no, that, the, no. I don't think there was a season one. I don't think there was. A, I think I think so there was two pre seasons. I think I think Elliot won the first pre season, and then I think Albertron won the second pre season, and then I just don't think there was anything for season one. And then there was the the season two finals weren't really anything to do with ladder, and then season three is this one. Um, so this is like the first proper 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 chalice. Oh, so when Art won ladder, they just didn't give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did, did Art win the ladder? Uh, maybe. Uh, I think was it was it Crystal. I think it was Crystal. crystal yeah, yeah. I think it was Crystal. It was cr so, Crystal and Art one and two, weren't they? So who's come top of ladder then? Crystal and Andre. Yeah, and, and then and who, and somebody who, else. It wasn't Art, was it? I don't know who it was in season one. I mean, the the thing with the finishing first 
in the season that Crystal finished first on ladder, it could have been Art or Crystal, right? They just it, because the top two qualified. Art didn't, really, you know, they, they, neither of them were really trying to finish first, right? Like yeah. if Art had randomly been first and Chunter had been second, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have tried to like get first because they just not want to finish third. <laughs> to you know, because if they lost, they they'd finish third, right? Because yeah, Diamond yeah, yeah, was there, yeah. so so the, so they were just like it was just first and second was all that mattered there. Anyway, um, in this one, Andre won. Congratulations to him. Zolinthia lost. Commiserations to him. There's no summary screen, so that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if that will get fixed with the forthcoming patch tomorrow um thank you very much Jimmy. glorious having you in the booth uh thanks for teaching me about wrestling jim yeah <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>